two forces are acting. Two forces are acting. At an angle of 120 degree. At an angle of 120 degree. The resultant is found to be the resultant is found to be perpendicular to smaller force. Perpendicular to smaller force. Full stop. If the greater force is 20 newtons, if the greater force is 20 newtons. Find the other force. Find the other force and the resultant. Find the other force and the resultant. What is the resultant? What is the resultant? If the same forces act at 60 degree, what is the resultant? If the same forces act at 60 degree, There are two forces which are acting at an angle of 120 degree. As usual, let us take the forces as P and Q. Q. Let's say this is the force P and force Q. What is the angle between P and Q force? 120. This angle is 1.8. The resultant is found to be, the resultant of P and Q is found to be perpendicular to the smaller force. Let's assume that P is a greater force than Q. It's only an assumption. So which becomes the smaller force? Q is the smaller force and it is found that the resultant is found to be perpendicular to smaller force. Since Q is the smaller force, now I have to draw the resultant so that the angle between the resultant R and the smaller force Q is 90 degrees. Now what I do is, I will calculate this. Why do you see this? 
say it is 30 degree. 120 minus 90. This is 90 degree. Now, if this angle is 90, what is this angle? This is also 90 because they are alternate angles. This is 90, this is also 90. This is 30 degree. <coughs> okay, did you finish writing the diagram? This full angle is 120 degree. Let P and Q be the two forces, two forces acting. And let's say let P be greater than Q. Between P and Q, P is greater, and it is given that the greater force is 20 newton. So what is the value of P? P equals 20 newtons. <coughs> the resultant is found to be at right angles to the smaller force. Resultant is found to be at right angle to the smaller force Q. And the forces are P and Q. Okay, now we need to find the forces P and Q. In the right angle triangle, in the right angle triangle, O, B, C. O, B, C is a right angle triangle. Why do you say O, B, C is a right angle triangle? Because it is said that this angle is 90 degree. Therefore, angle OBC is 90 degree. I I just mark the angles. Angle angle POC is how much? 20 degree. Angle POC is how much? 20 degree. Angle OBC is how much? 90 degree. Angle OBC is 90 degree because it is alternate with this right angle, so it should be also a right angle. Okay, so we came to know that in that triangle OBC, angle BOC is 30 and OBC is 90. Now consider sin 30. What is sin theta? Sin theta is opposite side by hypotenuse. So sin 30 should also be written as the ratio of opposite side by hypotenuse, which is the opposite side to 30 degree. BC. And which is the hypotenuse? OC. Because hypotenuse is always opposite to right angle. So you see OC is the hypotenuse and the opposite side is BC. So I can write it as BC over OC. OA is Q, so CB is also Q because they are like vectors. They are equal in magnitude and also in direction. This is Q, so this is also Q. So I can write this implies what is the value of sin 30? Half. You all know that sin 30 is how much? Half is equal to BC. BC is nothing but Q divided by OC. OC is P or Q over 20 is equal to 1 by 2 because P equals 20 newtons it is given. Therefore 2Q equals 20 therefore Q equals 10, 10 newtons. So we got one of the forces. The other force we got, smaller force we got. So, what is the magnitude of the force Q? 10 newtons. What we need to find now? We need to find 
find the other force yes we found and there resultant so we need to find the resultant of 20 and 10 because we came to know that resultant is 20 and 10 and what is the angle between these two forces stop between p and q between p and q what way you can find the resultant in two ways one way is to use the formula directly r is equal to root of listen to me now listen to me i am not writing it on the board listen what is the formula for resultant root of b square plus q square plus 2 pq cos theta so i can take it as root of 20 square plus 10 square plus 2 into 20 into 10 into cos 120 and for cos 120 i put minus half and simplify i get the value of r that is one way the other way is like this only by considering see here we wanted q that means we wanted the side bc so we took sin 30 next is to find r if i take cos 30 cos 30 is at the same point it wants. so by taking nearly the ratio of cos 30 for this triangle what is cos theta adjacent side and the resultant happens to be the adjacent side so I easily get the value of the resultant instead of that routine formula I can also make use of this ratio method I do like this uh, consider cos 30 at the same triangle what is cos theta adjacent adjacent by hypotenuse now which is the adjacent side of this triangle OB and what is cos 30 root 3 by 2 equals what is OB OB is R so this R by P is 20 equals root 3 by R equals 20 root 3 so R equals 10 root 3 units so we got the value of the resultant by taking cos 30 this time or else we can also do by using the form <coughs> there is one more part in this problem what is the resultant if the same forces act at 60 degree cos 60 what will you do use the formula ok next if theta is equal to 60 degree if theta is equal to 60 degree then r is equal to square root of 20 square plus 10 square plus 2 into 20 into 10 into cos 60 that is root of 400 plus 100 plus cos 60 is how much? half so this student the denominator 2 of cos 60 cancel 20 into 2 is 200 square root of 700 26.45 the square root of 700 that is 26.45 units 